Hello everyone, Ronnie J here from InternetRadioStation.com. Licensing for your internet radio station. Playing songs on your internet radio station without proper licensing can get you sued big time, so please don't take that chance. The musicians uh, work very hard in creating their music and they deserve to be compensated via royalties. Licensing um, back in the day was very, very expensive. But now we're seeing a massive migration from what's called terrestrial radio stations over into the Internet. Uh, Terrestrial radio stations are your normal radio stations that uh, are inside of a building or a studio that have uh, actual equipment, uh, transmitters that are costly. The Internet radio stations have to hire technicians to maintain those transmitters and the antennas that they are connected to. Terrestrial radio is a very costly venture. And I'm not putting down terrestrial radio. There is still a need for it. But what I'm saying here is that we're seeing a migration from terrestrial radio, which is expensive, to the smaller signal uh, and easier a vehicle such as the Internet to pass streams from point A to point B. Uh, the Internet is relatively cheap. So what comes with that is a new type of licensing for the Internet radio stations. And it's relatively cheap now. So anyone uh, who wants to start an internet radio station can get legal. And it simply makes no sense for anyone to have an internet radio station and not uh, be licensed. So what do you do? Well, over here, you're looking at a website called streamlicensing.com. And these are the folks that I um, make myself legal through. And as you can see over here to the left-hand side, it uh, covers all of the major licensing entities and uh, they take care of everything for you. So this is a one-stop shop. So you go to streamlicensing.com, and if you scroll down and notice the very first line, we're affordable with monthly affiliate cost from $22.50. Normally, if you're just starting out, that's what you'll be paying every month. And so you can click on this link here to see uh, their pricing schemes. And if you scroll down, uh, your pricing is going to depend upon your total monthly listing hours. That's what's called TLH and uh, whatever your monthly expenses and revenue are. In other words, what you pay to maintain your Internet radio station. This would involve how much money that you pay uh, for hosting and uh, stream hosting, maintenance and things like that. You can deduct that. So what you would do is you would select the plan. Say starting out, let's say if you select up to 3,500 total listening hours. And let's say that uh, your website's new, so you're not really making any money with it, but you're spending, say, up to $20 per month in uh, web hosting fees and other fees and maintaining your site. So you would include that. And then uh, they will calculate what your plan would be. So based on what I've selected up here, just as an example, this is what you'll be paying every month, and that is what will make you legal. Now, if you're just starting out, they're going to charge you a one-time $20 setup fee, which is very reasonable. And then you will click on the button here that says here, continue to check out. Let me show you another example here. Let's say that uh, your website is growing and you're getting up to 10,000 total listing hours. And your website is starting to generate a little bit of money. Let's say you're making about $200 per month. And then if you come down, they have automatically calculated a plan for you. So based on what I've selected up here, this is what you'll be paying every month. So integrity will come into play here because you every month you have to come here and report uh, what your total listing hours will be. And they basically take care of that for you anyway. But you have to tell them how much money that you're spending to maintain your website and how much money your website is generating. And none of this has to be exact, but you want to be honest in that because this is how the musicians get paid their royalties. They get a piece of the pie. So to get started, again, I recommend that you select the low end plan here because you're starting out. You're not going to be making any money right away anyway. And then you would sign up. It is as simple as that. But that's not it. Because once you sign up, there are other steps that you have to go through to make yourself legal. And uh, I can't go into that in this video. The technicians here at uh, streamlicensing.com will walk you through 
the process of making your website legal. They'll tell you exactly what to do and they'll even help you do it. You look at my main page, ripradio.com. But notice on my main page, I don't have a player here. I am showing that I am licensed with uh, streamlicensing.com here. Notice that when users come here, they'll see a button that says click to play. When I click on that, notice what happens here. Click to play. The URL changes to streamlicensing.com. But it looks like my website. And actually, it is my website. But things are the coding is set up underneath the hood so that this allows stream licensing to monitor what's being streamed from my website or server. But as you can see, it looks exactly like my website. And again, like it is my website. So it is here that users will see a player and they'll click on that and they can hear the stream. Streamlicensing.com, once you set up your account, will walk you through the process of how to do that. And they have some very simple ways of doing it. It could take you less than five minutes and you're legal. I've took the more extreme way because uh, I am a web design programmer. I wanted my website to be set up in a manner that uh, users will see my uh, web pages. So that's how I have mine set up. You don't have to do that. You can actually have yours set up to where they see. You'll see a button here that says click to play and it takes them to an external website that will look nothing like your website. That's quick and easy. And again, mine's set up a little bit differently. All right, so that's what you want to do. Uh, get on over to streamlicensing.com, select the low-end plan, and you will be all set. Uh, again, please do not stream music without being licensed. The only music that you can stream without being licensed is indie music. That's independent music. And you will need to get permission from the uh, musicians of indie music to do that. And they are more than eager to give you that permission and even send you their music because they want the exposure. This is Ronnie J from internetradiostation.com. Thank you for listening.